Hey guys, welcome to the October 15th video. It appears the defensives in the Kherson region are going to be stepping up this week. It's likely that Ukraine has liberated Milove. It isn't officially confirmed yet, but if it is true, Ukraine's going to be able to threaten the settlements even closer to Beroslav. It's likely that Ukraine's going to launch an assault from Davidi Breed uh, probably tomorrow. They'll likely try to break through this line of Russian defense and attempt to push them even further out of this area. Beroslav is one of the supply centers for the whole eastern half of the front. If Ukraine is able to take it, it will be a massive blow to the Russians. Up near Svatove, Ukraine has made some progress recently, taking Kovalivka and Novovodiane. Now that they control these two settlements, it's likely that they'll be able to hit Karamazinivka from two sides and take it. Once they take over this line of settlements, they'll begin to be able to threaten the ones along the Krasna River. They are only 10 kilometers away from Svatove now. My guess is that they'll keep launching assaults from the PO7 highway from the north and eventually connect it maybe around Nizhurine. I think the Battle of Svatove is going to be decisive for the course of the war. Another thing Ukraine could do is attempt to take Troitske. Currently they're fighting in Persho Travneve, but they should be able to maneuver outwards into Troitske. Troitske is a big rail hub coming in from Belgorod and other cities around the region, and Russia heavily relies on rail for a lot of their the logistics, so taking this out would be important. It, all it would also cut off complete supply to Svatove, unless they take Svatove before. Overall, I am expecting some movement in this direction, and I think we'll have some good stuff coming from the days to come. I feel weird looking back at some of my old videos and seeing how I used to pronounce some names, but then I watch this clip. In the months when the war began, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky announced that and immediately felt better about myself. Russia has been sending convoys of equipment and mobilized troops into certain areas in Belarus marked by a blue paddle. These areas have been transporting supply to areas near the Ukrainian border, where the pink paddles are. It's unlikely that Russia will attempt to reinvade the north of the country. Border has been mined pretty heavily, and there's a multitude of other reasons. Russia is likely just trying to draw troops away from both of the more important fronts where they're losing ground. Thanks to my channel members Gene Helfrich, and a special thanks to my third tier Astley C137. I'm proud to announce that I've teamed up with reporting from Ukraine, another YouTuber on YouTube. Wait, what? Another Ukraine news reporter, he's really good, check him out. But we've teamed up to give you guys UA supporter. On the website, they have everything from shirts, coffee mugs, hats, headphones cases, phone cases, patches, pretty much everything. If you want to show your support for Ukraine and show support for what I do, click the link in the description and it will automatically apply my referral code, or you can type in free hair sewn at the end of the checkout. That's all I got for you guys today. Bye.